everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NHL action for uh, January 22nd. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this section here, that, which has all these tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so for January 22nd, we're going to look at four of the five games that are scheduled. So you have four of them on here. Okay, the first one here is Pittsburgh. At New Jersey, so if you look at this, Pittsburgh comes in average down. They are three and three over their last six. While New Jersey is burning hot, they have won five out of their last six games. If you look at the over under, you can see that Pittsburgh has been involved in games over in their last two and three of their last six. While New Jersey has been over in each of their last six games. In this metropolitan division battle, Pittsburgh comes in at fifth place in the division, while the Devils are second. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you see the chart here as New Jersey is on the upward trend. They're at 19 back on January the 7th, and they are now up to plus 29. If you look at the trend for Pittsburgh, you see they went up to plus 19 on January the 13th, dipped back down, and now are up to plus 16. Head-to-head -head wise for this season, you can see on here that um, New Jersey won the first meeting by a 4-2 score on the road as an underdog, a slight underdog at that. But they did win on the road. Uh, the score predictor has Pittsburgh bounced back in this one, winning four to three with about 50% level of confidence in the prediction. The stability factor, Pittsburgh has been much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 10 compared to plus one for New Jersey. In the end, I like Pittsburgh to bounce back in this one to even the uh, season series between the two teams. And I think it might be an overtime game. Okay, um, the Kings and the Blackhawks. In this one here, you see that neither team is playing their best hockey, although Chicago is 4-2 over their last six, which is incredible for them, being that they are second from the bottom. Actually, they are um, on the bottom in the Central Division, while the Kings are third in the Pacific Division, and they are average status at the moment, 4-2 uh, over their last six games, but they're coming off of a loss. One thing to note is that both teams have been playing in games over the line. Look at this, the last six for uh, the Kings and the last four for Chicago. So it's a good indication that this could be a high scoring game. Although the score predictor has it as only three to two in favor of Chicago with about 56% level of confidence. The power ranks indicators shows Los Angeles on the upward trend from plus 21 to plus 30. And you see Chicago has been near the bottom all year. They were up to plus six. For them, that was high. That was their high point of the season. And now they're down to plus three. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you will notice that the teams were, have been involved in low-scoring games, both in overtime, uh, and both were two-to-one scores with the home team winning both games. The stability factor noticed that Chicago is extremely consistent at plus 22. Doesn't mean they're good, just means that they're consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status, mostly as an underdog and mostly losing, while the Kings are not consistent at minus two. So in the end, though, I do think the Kings will just prevail because they are the better team. So I like them in a game over the line. Okay, and the third one we're looking at now that you gave me here is um, we got San Jose and Boston. So here's a team in San Jose not playing their best hockey. Ice cold up. They are coming off of a win, but they are near the bottom of their division. While Boston has the best record in the in, in the NHL, they are burning hot, and they have won five out of their last six games. The only loss coming against Seattle at home, nevertheless. Um, the score predictor, surprisingly, has San Jose by a two-to-one score with a pretty high level of confidence of 74%. But I am going against that, as you will see when I make the pick. Um, the power ranks indicator shows Boston at, at the top at plus 31. And they've been near the top all year, while San Jose is all the way at the bottom at zero. I don't really see how this is going to be much of a contest. Um, the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that Boston uh, won the first meeting between the two teams on the road as a favorite 4-2. to two. I, I'm looking at much the same here. Boston by a goal or two, maybe even more. And I would take this game over the line. Um, the last one we want to look at is Vegas and Arizona. 
Vegas comes into play with the top record in the Pacific Division, and Arizona is second from the bottom in the Central Division. You see the Coyotes are average. They're dead up. Winners have just won out of their last six, while Vegas is averaged down. Losers of three out of their last four. I expect them to bounce back in this one, though. The last one was a bad 4 nothing loss at home. Um, Vegas has been trending in games over the line five out of the last six, while San or Arizona, excuse me, in three out of the last six. The power ranks indicator shows what is pretty much expected. The Arizona down here at the bottom, you see their, their line all the way at the bottom here at zero, while Vegas has been up and down a little bit, but they're bouncing back from the plus 24 on January the 12th and they are now plus 27. Head to head, the only game they played this season was back on December 21st and Vegas was all over Arizona 5 to 2 at home. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor again you can see that Vegas has been much more stable at plus 10, although they were up as high as plus 12 and they've dipped to plus 10. While Arizona was at zero for quite some time, and now they're now up to plus five. So in the end, though, Vegas is a stronger team. I do think they will win this one, although you see the score predictor has it four to three with 54% level of confidence. I'm pretty much in line with that. I like Vegas to win by a goal or two in a game going over the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for the NHL for January the 22nd. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.